Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, no, it's not Sunday, it's Saturday, but I'm doing a wedding, a wedding for Christina Walker and Nathan Joyce in Richmond, Virginia later today. So I'll be driving most of the day, but uh, we're glad to join you with a tie and uh, be a part of your life as we look at the book of Psalms. Uh, oh, the book of Psalms, a book that encourages us to share with the Lord the deepest thoughts and emotions of our heart and let him look inside of us. Search me, O God, know me. See if there be any wicked way in me. One of the prayers of Psalms. And so we trust today as we look at Psalm 1 that you will find yourself in the position of the first three verses. Someone who is blessed. Look at verse 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, sinners but sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Then verse 4 begins with, the ungodly are not so, and then it ends in verse 6 with, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. It's very obvious that this chapter points us to two men one who is godly and the other who is ungodly. The godly man is the one that God sees in Jesus Christ. We are in Christ if we've been born again. We've been washed in His blood. Our sins have been forgiven. The moment we repented of our sin and received Jesus Christ, we were placed in Christ. And at that moment, we received the blessings of, of eternity, the blessing of the Holy Spirit living in our heart, the blessing of God Himself being our Father in heaven. Now, the other person that uh, God sees is the person who is ungodly, the person who is still in Adam. So the truth is today, you're either in Christ or you're either in Adam. You're either saved or you're lost. You're either on your way to heaven or you're on your way to hell. There are only two paths. Jesus says, broad is the path that leads to destruction and many there be that find it. But straight, narrow is the gate that leads into life and few there are that find it. Oh, my friend today, I pray that you pray that you are in Christ and that you have decided to live the life that will bring blessings of God upon you. Oh, no greater thing in our world, in our life, that we should desire than to know that we are being blessed by God. We have His presence. We have His protection. We have His shield about us. We have everything we need to be satisfied in Christ today. And I trust that you feel that you can be one of those blessed people, despite what's going on around you. Notice it has nothing to do with circumstances. It has to do with your position in Jesus Christ. Blessed is the man. Now, the person who is blessed is, of course, the godly man, and he will listen to the voice of God, and he will do the right things. And so he's making it very clear in this very first verse, we don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Why? Because the counsel of the ungodly does not come from the Word of God. No, we listen to those who are godly, those who know the word, those who walk in the word, those who love the word, and they share that word with us. And we listen to it and it gives us guidance. First, it shows us that we need Jesus to trust him as our savior, to invite him into our heart and life. That's the first thing the word of God does. It points to Jesus. And oh, my friend today, I trust that you're in the word. Blessed man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. He doesn't stand in the way of sinners. And then he doesn't doesn't sit in the seat of the scornful. You know, the scornful person, I was thinking, is the person now that's gotten so far away from God, he scorns those who know and love God. He makes fun of them. He mocks them. He's an intellectual. He thinks he has it all figured out. He's a humanist. He worships himself. He's scornful. He's critical. He's pessimistic. He's always being negative, putting others down. That's the scornful person. And you'll end up sitting in that seat too, if you're not careful and you decide to stray from the counsel of God's word and you start standing with sinners and you do what they do, talk like they talk, act like they talk, and next thing you know, you have become just like them, a scornful person, a negative person. So my friend today, tomorrow we're gonna, we, we, we wanna walk in the right path and tomorrow we're gonna see what it is to delight ourselves in the law of God. 
Well, God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.